Well hello everybody, this is Panda here with an early morning video. It is 8.30 a.m. Uh, June 29th, 2019. This is my third run of Elemental Master because the first two times I... I, I don't know. It sucked hard. It was, it was awful. Okay. Alright. And now... <clears throat> Now that I've had my food, my, my daily morning uh, breakfast... Oh, we're gonna start. Oh. Oh, we're starting like this. Okay. I'm gonna shut up and just let you uh, listen to the music and, and read the dialogue, because it goes pretty damn fast. Man, if only that song could have been played with an actual metal band, I think that'd be pretty freaking awesome, is my opinion. But anyway, so yeah, I had my breakfast, I watched some family food fight, that was that was fun, <clears throat> kind of interesting, and now I'm playing Elemental Master, because this is, this is one of those games that I just found recently, a couple days ago, and it, it is amazing. Simple, straight to the point, and um, just difficult enough. You know, so you get four stages to choose from. After every stage you complete, I guess you get a new elemental. <clears throat> I just call them power ups, abilities, whatever. We're gonna start with. Um, last time I tried this, it started with the fourth stage and it did not go well. So we're, we're gonna, we're just gonna go with the first stage. F it, F it. You can only shoot forwards or backwards, and that 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 is all. Um, there's no auto shooting. You actually have to manually push the button. Oh, jeez, they're just like circling me, oh, bastards. So yeah, I was I was watching a food fight, and um, it looked delicious. I always love watching food competitions. Something about about them just gives me so much joy to see the the hard work and, and the failure, <laughs> mainly the failure. I feel bad for saying that, but it's true. Like, why else do you watch a food competition? <laughs> no, really, I, I do like to see people succeed. Especially working as a team. Oh, jeez. Especially working as a team. But at the same time, it's quite hilarious to see people fail. Especially those who are like... I know I could have done better. I'm like, well, there, there's thing. I mean, you know what to improve. Just improve the freaking next challenge and stuff. But you never do. Like, what the hell? You're never gonna get. Oh, jeez. You're never gonna get anywhere if you don't realize your mistakes and then do everything you can in your power to. Oh, I just got hit. To avoid said mistakes. It's just not gonna work that way. You can say you're the worst of whatever. 
and never do anything about it, keep on acting the same way you do and just never go anywhere. Or you can say, I'm terrible at this, that, and that, and change those things. What? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Freaking Self-improvement. There you go. Home improvement. Anyone remember that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, that show. It was okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. This is me trying not to be stupid. This guy shouldn't be that hard to beat, and yet... Okay. Good. <laughs> My guy is on crack cocaine. I I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, I gotta shut up. Sorry. Okay. So now we're going to go to this stage because I have my favorite power-up! Unless they set it up like that to where you're supposed to go to the stage last, but I just... I don't care. I like getting the stage out of the way because I don't like the boss. Well, no, it's not that I don't like the boss. I think the boss is fine. It's just the boss takes the longest out of the four? Yeah, out of these four. So anyway, I was talking about home improvement, right? <laughs> Oh, Home Improvement, Tim Allen, Toy Story. Has anyone, I mean, I'm sure people have seen the new Toy Story. I just, I don't know. I think the new movies, and I, you, you know, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. When the first Toy Story came out back in, uh, in the 90s, <laughs> Whatever that was, whenever it came out, I still wasn't excited to see it. I didn't know what it was about. And then I remember my dad explaining it to me. Um, I think it was like a week before it came out in theaters. He's like, it's about toys that talk when no one's around. I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of interesting. As a, you know, I'm, as a very small child at the time, couldn't have been, I couldn't have been more than 10 years old at that point. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that sounds interesting. Yeah, okay, let's go watch that. And it was, it was really good. I look back at it today, the production value, the story, um, just the way everything was written. Uh, it's really good, right? But I don't know. I think, honestly, honestly, I do believe that there was not a necessity for anything past Toy Story 3. I think that this the series should have just ended right there. Oh. Oh, we're already at the boss? Damn, that was quick. So this bitch-ass serpent right here. Uh, it's, it's a serpent, okay. It shoots out- oh. It shoots out its freaking- ah! Its freaking head. And its tail. Okay. Now I just want to get it over with because I don't like it. It's it's a kamikaze little butthole. It just it gets its jimmies on by trying to ram its whole body into you, you know. So I I don't appreciate that because I haven't picked up the damn patterns it uses to home in on me. So that's why I want to get get it all the way. Mm. But, uh, you know, I have been hearing, uh, going back to Toy Story, Toy Story 4. Okay, he's dead. I have been hearing that it's it's pretty good. It's a pretty decent movie. Um, I probably won't see it myself. Oh, I don't know which one to do next. We shall do <clears throat> this one. Did I pick right? Oh, I did. Okay, good. So, uh, I hear it's a, it's a good movie. I just don't feel that there was a necessity for it but if it's good it's good I won't know because you know that, that was my bad oh excuse me I'm still 
burping up the gummy bears I had this morning. That's right, I had gummy bears for breakfast. For breakfast? I'm not ashamed to say I love my gummy bears. I shouldn't be eating those, actually, to be quite honest with you. Because it's not supposed to be part of my diet. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Gummy bears were on sale at Sprouts. Freaking $1.99 per pound. And this guy got 5.5 pounds of gummy bears. I need those to last me for at least a month. Will they? Probably not. Because I love gummy bears. A lot. But you know what? I'm going to try my hardest. My hardest. I'm going to try my hardest to save my gummy bears. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't even remember what I was talking about until then. Um, oh, yeah. So, I was talking about movies in Toy Story 4, right? Okay. So, <clears throat> it's my firm belief that no matter how much you want to say something's going to be good, and this, this is before you see a movie in theaters or on Hulu, Netflix, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before you read reviews... All that. Um, it's always a gamble. And I didn't realize this until I was about, uh, I would say, junior high age. 13, 14 years old. Or 12, 13 years old. I realized that, hey, going to see the movies is actually a gamble. It's never a for sure thing. No matter how many people say, hey, this is a great movie, go watch it. Um, remember, it's just an opinion of people, right? And no one person is the exact same unless... Uh, no, no, e even even the twins. Even twins. You're still not the exact same. Oh, crap. This bastard. Oh, I should just switch. There you go. It makes more sense to switch to this ability. This element. So, yeah. Going to see movies is a gamble. No matter what anyone tells you. However good or bad a movie may be, obviously it's not going to be the same from when you watch it. Because your opinions are going to be different than anyone else's. So, for me, I it, unless it's a series that I've enjoyed in the past, um, or it just gets like overwhelmingly positive reviews, I will not go see it in the theater. That, that is my uh, standard, I guess. Um, as well as if I think it looks gimmicky and unnecessary, uh, I won't go see it in the theaters. Another, and just, just to bring up a, a perfect example of this, Detective Pikachu. A lot of people said it was good. Um, I, you have to keep in mind, though, from what I saw anyway on social media, a lot of people who have who are my age, or older, who have kids, who took the kids to see it, you know, trying to really relive their uh, childhood and also pass it down on to the next generation. Those people said it was good. I'm like, well, then again, you're taking your kid. Now, if you're, if you're like me, and has to, if you're a person who, oh, sh hold on, give me, give me a second, I need, I need, oh, I already got that, what the hell's wrong with me? If you're a person who has to question everything, like I do, I, I question I question my own sanity, all right? So if you have to question everything, then you're probably not going to go see the movie right away in the theaters. You're going to wait. Okay. So, <laughs> but you have these people who have these children, these children, oops, who, you know, have not been exposed too much to Pokemon, or maybe they have, maybe they're a very geeky vamp family. And maybe they've exposed their five-year-olds to Pokemon already, which is nothing wrong with that. That's totally fine. And it would make sense for them to go see the movie right away because their children are excited. They're excited to see their children excited. They want to do everything they can for their children to be, have a better life and blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing over and over again. And, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But if you're a person like me who has to question everything, who is... Um... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, it's this douche. Okay. <laughs> it's this douche. <laughs> if you're a person like me who just thinks everything's a gimmick and can't be bothered. Oh my golly, I'm stupid. Can't be bothered with this crap, then you're probably not going to see it right away either. Even if it has freaking Mr. Deadpool himself, Ryan Reynolds, in it, I just don't. I don't know. I don't think it would be great for me. I think. 
I'd probably give it like if I were to rate it out of 10 just just on what I saw and just on what I heard from others I'd probably already give it a 7 out of 10 so it's not a bad movie I don't think it would be a bad movie but I don't think it would be amazing like a lot of people are trying to make it out to be to be quite honest with you oh I keep on forgetting these stupid the damn background sometimes is okay so um yeah that was my little rant about movies while playing Elemental Master. <laughs> silly, I know. I know, it's just silly things. I don't even know what I was getting at by, by talking about that, honestly. I really don't. I guess I'll go back to, to my, uh, my morning and my week. Sure. Yeah, why not? So recently... Oh... <laughs> So recently, oh, <laughs> uh, recently I got a new job and it's been taking a toll on me a little bit just because I've been out of work for a little over six months and the schedule is way different. This is something completely new to me that I have to be trained on almost every day. I, I consider it every day at this point. And um, it's not as, it's funny, it's, it's in a bookkeeping, accounting, right, in, in the grand scheme of things, and I always had the opinion that bookkeeping was never that difficult, and now that I'm in it, in it to win it, <laughs> uh, my opinion has changed a little bit, not too much, because in reality, it's not as difficult as people make it out to be, the, di the most difficult part... <laughs> People are gonna hate me for this, and I just don't care. But the most difficult oh, I got hit by that seriously. The most difficult part about bookkeeping is just being accurate the first time around. And what I mean by that is if you just follow procedure as to how it's set in the first place and never make a mistake, if you're very meticulous in your dealings, then you'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about at all. And I, I sincerely mean that at all. There's nothing to worry about. If you just freaking do it right the first time. <laughs> but we're human. We seem to F things up all the time. Oh, just like I'm about to F it up right now. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Thanks, fairy. Okay, so there's no reason to get hit by this one right here. There you go. Oh! You sly Cooper. <laughs> it's not a Cooper. <laughs> I was just thinking. I was just thinking of another word to go with sly. Uh. Speaking of, I don't think I don't think I've ever played one of those games. Sky Cooper or Sly 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 Slice Cooper, Sly Cooper, Sky Cooper. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. That was for PlayStation, right? Uh, Sly Cooper? Oh, I think there was a Sly Cooper 2. I think it was Sony's attempt to get another mascot behind their name. But it's like, dude, you already had Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Spyro. <laughs> Spyro. You already had Spyro and Crash Bandicoot. Why even try? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. So, she becomes the Ring of Power. Just watch. Just watch. And we just defeated Klaus, by the way. So, I don't know. Maybe the translation error? I don't know. But I thought I already had elements. <laughs> He's just staring at the ring. Nina, I'm a ring. I'm near my finger now. Oh man. All right. So yeah, and then uh, what, what's let's talk about Sly Cooper, my job, food fight, the movies. <laughs> There's so many things to talk about in life, you know. Oh wow. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. 
I did an oopsie. I did an oopsie boopsie stoopsie. Alright. That's okay. Because if I'm smart, there you go. If I'm smart and final, I can get through this. These freaking nudie weirdos. Uh. Uh, so yeah, what, what else can I talk about here? Oh yes, yeah, so, so going back to my new job, it's, uh, it's way different than what I'm used to. Um, I love the atmosphere, and I love the people, for the most part. Um, <clears throat> but I, I don't know if it's me, or maybe it's more difficult to learn these things than I thought, and... I don't know, because I'm having more trouble than what I would imagine with the material that I'm given. But it, it it's just, it's okay. The best way to explain it is one day I think I have it all down, and then the next day when I try to execute what I think I have down, I just completely ruin, completely ruin. Maybe not even completely, but it feels like I completely ruined things. Things that I should know how to do by now. Because I've been uh, employed with them for, what, four weeks? God, freaking people. <clears throat> so it's either the way they're training me is not the way I learn, or I'm just not giving it my all, which I thought I was. So I don't know, freaking. Last time I played this, I got stuck here. I'm like, what do I do? Apparently, you have to go back to your very first ability, your very first element, and just charge your way to victory. Stupid bee over here. Turns into a... What? It's like a hybrid scorpion... Master Hand. Nasty shit. I don't even know. Okay. And then you have to do it one more time, I think. If I'm correct. Okay, no. More than one more time? Thank you. Okay. Cool, so I have no idea what's going to happen beyond this point. <laughs> anyway, I've had a rough re week in that regards. To just feeling... Um, where, where, where'd that thing go? The hell? Okay. To, to feeling inadequate. There you go. I've been feeling really inadequate in my job recently. It would be different if I was feeling this way during the first two weeks. The hell? Really? We're gonna do this? We're gonna do a Mega Man? I don't- I'm not sure I'm ready for that, bro. Okay. I, I mean... Dude! What the hell? Why aren't you dead yet? Do I have to- I'm switching. Piece of shit. God damn. So it'd be understandable if it was like my first two weeks. Feeling this way. Am I supposed to go in there? Ah, oh, you bastard. Freaking... Oh my god. Unless I was supposed to switch to a certain element and then be fine. I don't... I don't know. I'm still new to this game. This third, fourth time playing overall? Which one is it? Okay. Alright, this one's pretty straightforward. But... E e again... I've been... Oh, I'm stupid. I've been there for, for oh I got hit by that serious soul serial soul oh I'm gonna be upset spaghetti if I keep on getting hit by these things been there for four freaking weeks and I, I still feel inadequate and I, I hate it I hate the feeling all right it's it's tough to feel this way and then to act like everything's fine so I play video games to to try to forget my inadequacies. You know, it's just, it's a thing to do. You gonna give me some like treasure chest or something? Really? 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 Okay. Felt like I had to take a dump right there. Not the serpent, okay. Actually, no, I prefer the serpent at this point. Oh, frick. Uh. You know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do for you, Mr. Porcupine bitch? Porcupine armadillo. Whatever the hell you are. There you go. 
That's what I'm gonna do for you. Make your death nice and easy. Nice and quick. Okay. <laughs> Those crabs. <laughs> you would have been cool is if they had a game. If there was a game out. Oh, hold on. Ah, ah. If there was a game out there that already had crabs with oh jeez, they already had crabs with those uh with those knives. That'd be amazing. He's so happy. <laughs> that would make my life complete. I'd be like, oh my god! Before it was a meme, it was this game. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of that meme. Speaking of memes. What are the newest memes out there? I don't. It's. That's another thing about this job, that it's just a little different than what I'm used to. I, it's so, you can't be on your phone because you're always working. Nothing wrong with that, I mean, that, that's good practice. Good for them for, you know, implementing that, oh, mm. But it's like, I'm so out of the loop with what's going on. Freaking, it'll take me a whole week to realize what's trending on Twitter. And, you know, if you were to ask me, well, why do you care? Well, the thing is, I don't care. Or I thought I didn't care. But I've come to the point in life where it's like, well, I got nothing else to do, so I might as well look at Twitter and see what's trending. And, and uh, you know, see how I feel. Oh, God. See how I feel about it. Oh, my Jesus. It's gonna make me crawl my way to freaking hell. Really? Is, is, it, is Klaus gonna come up next? Is Klaus gonna come up again? Go ahead, Klaus. Make my freaking day, bastard. Make my freaking day. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, that is one meme I do appreciate. Oh, what? Dude. The way you freaking had those... Oh, there's some inconsistency with you breathing fire, sir. I'm just saying. I call it how it is, the inconsistency. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, save me now. Jesus, save me. God, save me from this place. Oh, shit. That was my, that was my bad. That was my, that, that was completely my fault. I should have never gotten hit by that, but you know, you know, I make mistakes. Are we human or are we dancer? And what the hell does that even mean? Honestly, that, what's that supposed to imply? Is he trying to reference Master of Puppets? Oh, oh my god. Oh, you guys are throwing shit out. Okay. Not actual shit, but, you know, shit. Is this Salom? Salami? Salamals? At least I have a shield, but... I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it! Anyway, yeah. Are we human, or are we dancer? That's a line that I've been pondering ever since I've heard that song come out. Which I don't remember when it came out, but I've been pondering it. And I just don't care for it. No. Wait. Okay. There we go. Whew! Okay, give me all health, please. I don't want to fight the bot. I don't want to fight Ryuki! With only two health. Please give me sus sustenance. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, save me, Jesus! Jesus! Take the wheel! Eep! Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed, you do. Can I get multiple ninjutsus? No? Okay. I know they're mirrors, but to me, it's Kagebushi ninjutsu. Oh, this is the boss? This is the final boss? Oh, shit. Rookie. Ooh. What? Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 What the f- What? You bastard. Okay. Ah. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Eee. You... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's like Ganon scary sh Oh, is that a pe... Okay, I seriously thought that was his penis. Alright. Don't judge me. 
Looks like a freaking pe- it, it still looks like it- Oh, nasty. Nasty. Wait. I'm- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! The hell was that? Ah! Oh, Jesus. Jesus, tap dancing balls. Oh my god. How? How, dude? Please tell me that's it. No more. Oh my god, now I have to fight the stupid- Oh, the head penis thing! Oh! Oh! Sick! Freaking gross! Oh my god, what is this thing? Oh, please tell me that's the end of the game. I can't- I can't do anymore. What? It's like penis head monster. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. I'll shut up. Ouch. Well, this is a little sad. Freaking Roki had this penis monster inside of him. <laughs> Oh yeah, who that? We never even saw him. This is now the first time we he's covered up. He's freaking, he's like Gandalf. Gandalf when Gandalf doesn't shave. <laughs> oh no. Oh okay. I guess I'll talk through this because there's there's no more dialogue. So obviously there's plenty of flaws to this game, but it's it's quite fun. I enjoyed it. It was a little short, but I mean, it's the Sega Genesis, what do you expect? It's it's another one of those um, scrolling shooter games. It, it's a different take on it, though. I don't see many um, scrolling shooters that have an actual person. It's usually like a car or a plane scrolling, right? So th this was neat. I liked it. I enjoyed the music the most. Uh, the difficulty is just right, in my opinion. Um, I was a little shocked at the end there, because <laughs> I didn't expect that weird-ass monster to come out. <laughs> oh, um, uh, it, one thing that is bothering my OCD is the fact that the eyes look like brackets. <laughs> I have to be fair in my criticism. Alright, I'm just saying, I have to be fair. It's it's a fun game overall. It's you know, it's a game. It's not off. It's not ET, all right. So it's not terrible. Anyway, would I like to see this in you know in 2019, 2020? Yes, I would love to see another game done like this, with badass music, and everything else was just okay. I mean, obviously I like to see more than that, but. In retrospect, I mean, how much more can you improve upon? Actually, there's probably a lot. I don't know. I'm not a game developer. I just... Yeah. I just put that question out there. Just to see how you feel. Like, what would you improve about this game to make it better? I say let's make it happen. It won't. But, you know, it's just my opinion. Alright, well, what's going on? Are we gonna, like, just sit here? And look at the at the uh, sky and the mountains in, in the background. Um, I'm gonna press start now. Oh, oh, okay, and that's, uh, yeah, that's Elemental Master. I'm just gonna let this screen go before I, before I go.
Hope you enjoyed this playthrough as much as I have in talking random crap. <laughs> Technosoft, if you ever see this video, please... Oh wait, I don't even know if you're still around. Okay, if whoever is close enough to Technosoft, get on this. Let's make another one. Let's make it good. Better than this. And that's all. Until next time, see you all later. Bye bye